I feel like I have so much to update you guys on. One thing, we did start party training. She has to get her tattoo teeth. I want to vacuum in my closet, like where the shoes are, because it has gotten so dusty and crusty in there. As you can tell, I do not wake up at 5.30 anymore. And here's the reason why. Ariellochka, Mama's making food. <laughs> She's so impatient when it comes to food. If I don't give it to her in one second, oh, that's it. We're going to lose it. Can you be any faster? <laughs> I can't believe she's all gone already. I feel like I have so much to update you guys on since the last vlog I feel like a lot has changed because I did pre-film the last vlog when I posted it like several weeks before so I just have a lot to update you on one thing we did start potty training which is crazy but at the same time better to start them young than when they can actually understand and then they don't want to go sit on the toilet and she's been doing really really good um i just give her a book to read and she flips through the pages and then does her thing she's already like pooped and peed in a potty so she's doing it's like the second consistent week that i'm potty training so she's been loving it so far and as you can tell i do not wake up at 5 30 anymore and here's the reason why Every single time I would get up to go to the gym, she's such a sensitive sleeper and she would get up right with me 
and a lot of times it was when I already left for the gym and then my husband would have to wake up earlier and then take care of her and sometimes she wouldn't fall back asleep, sometimes she kept crying and he's like this is not working for us and I'm like mm, I don't know what to do because she just would cry and be up super early or even after I got home from the gym and I was so quiet and everything she would be up bright and early like 6 30 and I'm like this cannot be happening so I started waking up and just going downstairs to do like a workout in front of the tv or something and that still wasn't working out because she would hear me go down the stairs like I said she's so sensitive to noise like her sound machine could be up so loud but she'll still hear whenever somebody is going downstairs um and so she would still wake up before her time but also it was not working out for me because I it was just like falling asleep in my house because it's like 5 30 it's all nice and cozy now it's getting so cold outside and there's no way i could be working out and reading my bible in this cozy house and not fall asleep like i was just having such a hard time because whenever i went to the gym i felt the adrenaline like everything kicked in and by the time i got home there's no way i was gonna sleep but when i get up and the first thing i do is like sit on the floor and like start doing some light workout because i'm not about to do hit at 5 30. i was literally falling asleep during my workout falling asleep during my bible time so i'm like hmm i don't know what to do we need to figure something out because i've not been waking up at 5 30. i literally wake up with her now and she's been waking up at like 8 8 30 which is amazing that she sleeps so long when i finally don't wake up super early but at the same time I can't keep waking up super late, so I'll update you how it's going as of right now. We're still on our PJs. It's nine o'clock. I am making breakfast, and she is on the potty. She's also gotten her two top teeth. I don't know if you can see, but. She also got her top two teeth, and it's been so cool seeing the whole human form, like, <laughs> more teeth, and they just look way more older, and it just feels like I almost have a toddler. <laughs> life over these children because she likes us at a young age it can turn for the worse when she's older so already at a young age and speaking of life and whatever the enemy meant for evil that's in her for good so i'm not gonna have an impatient child Life just doesn't work that way, so we're going to speak that you're going to be patient and loving. And you're not going to cry when you don't get what you want. Dad? You're going to be patient. Sometimes you got to have those mornings when you ease in with some worship music because 
crank is bottomed over here. I don't know what oh. it's cranking to do. So this always calls me a boot down. Either a book or some music. So I will not be making bread this week, but I still feed my starter. Do not be agitated by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong, for they wither quickly like grass and wilt like tender green plants. And I wrote down, like, we wonder how people living such an evil life can get away with it, or like, it's the non believers that have a good life and are prosperous and they seem to have it all together. They have all the money. Being a believer, sometimes you just don't have all that and then you start looking at them and just getting jealous like i'm over here trying to serve god but i don't have everything and then these people don't even care about god don't even know who he is and they're just like thriving in life but that's my washer but it's like our kingdom is not on earth it is in heaven so we shouldn't be trying to build up something or a name here or success or whatever it might be because this is not this is just like a temporary passing by place so whenever we're looking at people and like oh wow they have such a better life than me and i don't have all that it's like what are you focusing on are you focusing on this life or are you focusing on eternal life and it says they wither quickly like grass and i was like looking at commentary and studying and it says like grass is green for a little bit but soon enough it will wither so like somebody's life might look really beautiful and perfect for a little bit like the people that don't follow god and you're like you get jealous but then in the end whenever it might be sooner or later it's not gonna be like that anymore because they're not following god the one that gives us everything so they're just doing everything out of their own flesh and desires. So it says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. So he knows everything that we already need, everything that we want, everything that we desire for. And it says to just take delight in the Lord, not by works, not by earning his love, but simply just taking delight and spending time with him and loving him. And he will give you your heart's desires. It doesn't mean your heart's desires is like for a big house and to be rich in something that's not a desire that is from God. That's a fleshly desire. But he will give you your heart's desires if you desire more of him and he will bless you. So this is just like a little encouragement. I got this really cute jacket at Carter's the other day for only like 24 bucks. And it is so cute. It's still a little big on her because it's for 12 months. And she is only 10 and a half. But we will grow into it. Have to see them. <laughs> 
style and profile, and look how cute you are. <laughs> All right, we are back home now. I just put Ariella down. Um, she will not stay awake for like longer than two, two and a half hours. So she still takes like three naps a day. I just rocked her for like less than a minute to sleep and that really like, I know this soothes her down and calms her down and just like put her to bed, still awake and she falls asleep so easily. And I don't know why that chair is out of place. So anyways, I thought I'd do a little three item haul that I got. Um, I went to Sam's Club and I just picked up some softener and some danishes because these looked so good. And then I went to Kohl's because I returned something there for like an Amazon purchase and I got like a $5 credit and I was like, mm. I never really shop at Kohl's but I was like, $5, cool. So I decided to browse around and I just got one thing. I saw this really cute knitted skirt and it kind of has like a slit here. It's like a maroonish color. And so I'm really excited. I'm going to try it on right now. It was like $40 originally. And then there was like a sale for it being like $28. And then with my coupon, it ended up being like $23 or $24. So really good deal. And let's go try it on. All right. I love the cute skirt. I don't know about the fit. I think it's a bit too big on me. I don't know yet. So we'll see if I will return it or just like exchange it for a different size. But I think it's gonna look good. I wanted like a, I know it's like a tighter skirt, but I wanted like a modest flow to it. So I think that it should probably work. Coffee, but actually tea. Second cup of tea for the day. Who am I? When it becomes cold, I don't know why I've become so like into tea. So yeah, I'm doing that and uh, and I'm just gonna eat some danishes that I bought at Sam's Club because they look so good. I still have to put the sheets back on the bed. Um, I want to vacuum in my closet, like where the shoes are because it has gotten so dusty and crusty in there. But I have to wait for her to wake up because girl does not do well with noise, as I mentioned. Um, so we're gonna wait for her to wake up. And then we can get more things done. I want to take a walk later today. Hopefully it's not too windy. this mess as you can see it's like so dusty in there so we'll have to take everything out from under here and then we'll vacuum opportunity to wipe down every single shoe and also declutter and see what shoes you actually need because some of these I actually have to give away because I never wear them. Look at that. <laughs> so gross. I 
here is the after. Looks so much better. Color coordinated, everything. And then I'm giving a couple pairs of shoes away. Yeah, I love it. All right, so finally awake. It took vacuuming and everything and literally she finally woke up so she slept for like two hours and now we're gonna play piano because she loves it look at how her face lights up when she hears the keys bye bye <laughs> are you gonna be a pianist bye 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 you're so smart what did i do wait <laughs> Bless you. Usually I'll just feed her like applesauce or something as a snack. But we went out the other day and I gave her some of this and I didn't want it to go bad. So it's been in the fridge. So I'll just give her the rest of it. Da. Usually she'll just have some type of fruit. This is apple and carrot. Can't believe these used to be her meals. And now she's such a foodie, like, she'll eat everything and anything. <laughs> and now this is just, like, a little snack for her. Rarely use the potty. I thought she was actually going to go. So you better not go in your diaper. I told her you better not poop in your diaper. Because my mama let you sit on there for a good 15 minutes. Barely anything came out. It is already 6.30. I put her down like 30-ish minutes ago. And now I hear her. Pretty sure she's been like blowing bubbles <laughs> for like 10 minutes now. So let's go up and get her and feed her some dinner. <laughs> what are you doing? And this is dinner, some rice, chicken, avocado, mushrooms, and sausage. That, Christmas. And for me, I'm just gonna have pomegranates for right now. I'm not too hungry. This one is finishing up with her food. And then we're gonna play. She already did a big doo-doo in her pants, so no potty for us tonight. Um, she did rubbish. Do you know that we have a potty? I think it's not rubbish. I guess potty isn't important. We'll just do it in her pants. Is that the bomber? to catch her falling so you guys can see her reaction. Okay, the right. Give some more. Please to please to die. Please to die. Why are we not cooperating? <laughs> you just know someone's gonna catch you, right? Right here. <gasps> <laughs> She's starting to grind her teeth and it's the cringiest thing ever. Why are you grinding your teeth? Why are you grinding your teeth? <laughs> it's so gross. 
Mama just left <laughs> his ears. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> Tam do máme, na moločko pěte. Jdem. Jdem. We also switched to a bigger toddler sippy cup. So we're still trying to work through that. She sometimes chokes because it has like a bigger, what's it called? Spout, I think. Um, but overall, she's doing pretty good. Okay, I just cleaned up, put her down for bed. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I didn't really do much today. Um, but that's basically the reality of being a mom. You just stay at home half the time. And if you do get the opportunity to get out and go to some store or run errands, then it's a good day because I am not a homebody at all. But um, yeah, if you guys like my vlogs and want me to do more day in the lives, Please like this video and let me know down below more video ideas that you want to see from me. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great night, morning, or day whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.